Hey everyone, welcome up from the Vaps. I'm Minty, and this is episode 34 of the Airship Armageddon Season 2 Tournament. In this episode, we've got The Butcher by Dugan with the ham and bacon super dodgy ships. Going up against the Shadows by Cornholio. The Tentacled Horrors. <laughs> Go ahead and get the prediction started. Butcher or Shadows? You got one minute to place your bets. Let's get the battle underway. Whoops, I took a screenshot by accident. Fat fingered F12. Not really much damage in that first salvo for Shadows. Yep, being a dodgy little bugger. Oh, and Horror is down. That's a dead shadow. Terror is gone. Ooh, Chris had a lot of tentacles severed. Oh, oh, too high, too high. Boom. <laughs> 97.3 to zero. <laughs> Here we go, round two. Let's see if the shadows can get some better hits in this time. Yeah, looks like next airship Armageddon I'm going to have to ban propulsion on spin blocks. Because this, this setup is just way too strong. I don't know how you counter that. <laughs>
Shadows are landing a lot more hits this time. Taking power plant damage. The jets are not as strong as they were. And the shadow still missed. <laughs> decided to go after the other one and one of them got DQ'd for it. Ah. Uh. They really need to fix that. Yeah, it really is. So for those who don't know, let me explain what's going on there and why that DQ happened. The way they have the range disqualification coded in the custom battle mode in this game is it only checks if you are approaching the closest vehicle to you. So if you are running away from one vehicle and that vehicle is closer, even though you're approaching this vehicle, it still sees that as a DQ state and gives you DQ points. Because the, uh, because the one that's closer is not the one you're approaching. I don't know why they decided to code it like that. The tournament mod way back in the day had that coded correctly, so that didn't happen. So I don't know how or why they did it like that, but... That's, that is why that happened. There's not really anything we can do about it, it's just how the game works. Unfortunately. We have to treat it like... We have to treat it as a bug, basically. It's the same as, like, HE leaking. It's just part of the game. I mean, things are not looking good for the Shadows, Cornholio, but if they had stayed on Ham last round, they probably could have destroyed it. But they decided to change targets, and that was just immediate catastrophe. Oh, did they knock out the guns? I didn't notice that. That makes sense then.
Yeah, but the whole reason... I just wanted to explain why that was, because I know if I didn't, there'd be people on YouTube going, what the hell, man? Why, does, why are you letting that happen? It's like, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Are any DQs gonna happen this time? No? They all managed to avoid being DQ'd. You see the butcher are that good? Oh no, they collided! Two of the shadows ran into each other. And that one just went down. And that one's probably gonna follow very shortly. It does not look like it can... Well, it's... It's actually staying... Well... It's struggling. Third round nonsense. Yes, indeed. Yes, the shadows are indeed getting butchered. Uh oh, and too high. <laughs> All that's left is the crippled horror. It's trying so hard. It's struggling though. And there it goes. Butcher versus Goldfish? Well, that depends on how the vote goes. Because Goldfish versus... Goldfish versus Arrakis is close enough... Well... Actually, well, Arrakis is ahead at 55 to 29. But Goldfish is going to have to catch up in the vote in order to fight the Butcher next. If it loses, then it goes down to the secondary bracket, and they'll, they won't see each other for a while. Anyway, yeah, that'll be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for what end of the stream at that. Yeah, that is true, Pyrotech. So yeah, hope everybody enjoyed watching. Yep. Don't even know how to do my own outro. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.